Shibuku Super Cup 2021. Catch the action live on Zim Paper's TV network and the Premier Soccer League Facebook pages. Nyarazo Life Assurance Company, through one of its products, the Score Pack Plan, supports Dynamo's football club, one of the biggest soccer teams in the country and other local football clubs. With the Score Pack Plan, not only will you score for you and your family, but for your favorite local PSL soccer team as well. For each premium payment you make, your nominated soccer club will get paid from the Nyarazo Life Assurance's score pack plan. Make sure I get score pick. Get score pick. Support your favorite team, support your family. Your family needs you, your team needs you. Get score pack. Get the score pack plan. Supporting your team has never been this rewarding. Get a score pack policy and support your favorite football team today. Steelmate Investments is your friend for all your steel products and roofing sheets. From IBR galvanized and chromatic roofing sheets, universal beams, deformed bars, angle irons, mesh wire, mild steel channels, mild and binox steel plates, pube pipes, tubes, barbed wire, and much more. We cut your sheets to specific sizes. We deliver all big orders for free in Harare and charge just diesel and toll gate for out of Harare orders. We also do cutting and bending of deformed bars on site. Site. Visit us at 346 Affirmative Way, Willowvale, or Gate Number 8 Mbare Magaba, and Number 1 Easterman's Place, also in Magaba. For Mbare, call us on 0788 930 up to 555, and Willowvale at 0788 930 up to 561. Email us on steelmate.investments at gmail.com or marketing at steelmate.co.zw. Your friend in steel, Steelmate Investments, brings you a bigger environment to shop for your steel products. A new roofing sheet manufacturing plant completes your satisfaction to your construction project. Chromadec and galvanized roofing sheets are manufactured while you wait and still cut and bent to custom size. Products in stock are diverse for use in agriculture, mining, engineering, construction sectors, and for personal use. Call your friend and steel marketing team today on 242-611-802 or 3 or visit our website www.steelmate.co.zw Simbiaco Pa Steelmate Investments, your friend in steel.
a kickoff time and it is do or die for Harare City. If the Sunshine Boys lose this match while well, ZPC Kariba um, wins their clash with Caps United at the National Sports Stadium, it means that the Sunshine Boys are out. Now, on the other hand, the Dynamos are or have already qualified for the quarterfinals, but they still need to win this game just to get into that game with a positive mindset. Now, I am joined by Harare City coach, Coach Loichi Tembe. It's good to have you, Coach. Thank you. Um, coach, it is a crucial game for you, and I must say the destiny is in your hands. Mm -hmm. uh, are you are you up for this challenge? Yeah, of course. I think it's, it's very normal to anticipate a difficult, uh, I mean, a difficult game playing Dynamos, especially in recent in recent weeks, if not months. They've been on fire, and uh, yeah, we we, 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 we we anticipate a very difficult game. But all the same, I think we're very much aware of what is required of us, of what we need to do. To, to, to progress to, to, to the quarterfinals and it is our desire to want to participate in the in the, in the next round of the of the Chibuku tournament. But uh, yeah, like I said, I think we know what we want and uh, we know how to get what we want. Well, I must commend you. Harris City, you know, has had, um, um, you know, a, a great record in this tournament. But, um, you know, uh, uh, could this also have a psychological advantage on this game? No, not really. Every game is, 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 is a new game, you see, and if you to look at it, some players that played in this Chibuku trophy for Harare City are no longer there. We also have new players. All those things have to be taken in, into consideration. But uh, all the same, we are very, very happy as a football club, as a football team, to be where we are in. And I'm sure we are in the right space at the moment. We are preparing a team not only to excel in the Chibuku tournament, but we also to go on to do well in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the league. So, yeah, I think it's 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 game on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, lastly, um, the defeat Orientals. Can you tell us uh, what what do you say to your boys? No, I think it's 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 water under the bridge now. It's it's no longer important. What is important is is to focus on the Dynamo's match. And uh, yeah, I think we, I think we we're looking forward to the match. We know the challenges, but yeah, we have solutions in every situation that we, we find ourselves in. Well, thank you very much, Coach. All thank the best uh, thank on the game. Well, that was uh, Coach Loi Chitembe Harare City. Coach, they are just giving us his expectations from this game. Now I am joined by Dynamo's Coach Lloyd Chitembe. It's good to have you. It's good to have you, Coach. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, Coach, you face Harare City, a team that is eager you know, to win this game so that they can qualify into the quarterfinals. Um, tell me, how important is this game uh, for you? And your team? Well, uh, it's a very important match. Not uh, They're not only eager, but uh, they're a quality side. They're a very good side um, uh, with with quality players. So mm -hmm. we are in for, for a good match today, yeah. but mm -hmm. uh, we know what we want. Mm -hmm. um, we want to finish all the 10 games unbidden. That is what is motivating us today, but uh, we know that it's not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we want to finish off uh, in style. Apart from that, we uh, I've said also before that we we have already be, uh, begun preparing for the quarterfinals. So we are taking this match as a quarterfinal again today. Mm -hmm. We faltered last week against Capes United, but today we are taking it as a quarterfinal. So what we are looking for today is a victory, mm. a win in that sense, yeah. Well, the last time you faced um, Harare City, you got yeah. the result that you wanted to. Yes. So do you think today will be any different? Uh, well, um, normally uh, you, you get results after you have played. So yeah, we wait to play and see what happens uh, uh, after the final whistle. But our wish and what we have been preparing for is, is, is a win today. And that's what that we, have, we have nothing else in our mind besides that. So. Uh, let's wait until the final whistle, but we want to win today. Well, lastly, Coach, um, are there any changes uh, to your lineup today? And well, if yes. so, why? Well, yes, um, we've got we've got uh, so many changes. I think about uh, five or six. I'm not quite sure, but five. We are missing uh, we are missing Shadrick Nyawa, Patson Jaure, God knows Murwira. We are also missing um, Trevor Mavunga and Frank Makarati. So if you look at that of the players I've spoken about, they are like the core of the team. But the reason why they are not playing today is um, they, they've got two yellow cards each. We couldn't risk playing them today. They could pick a yellow card, third one, and they would miss the quarterfinal. So we have decided, since we have qualified already, we have decided to exclude them from the, from, from the lineup altogether today. They are not participating, they are not part of the team. 
and hope that those we have selected who did who do the job for us. Well, at least we reserve uh, our key players for, for, for next weekend. Well, thank you very much, Coach. It thank was you. nice having you. Thank you that much. was uh, Dynamo's coach, Coach Tondera Indiraya there. And he just said that he is expecting to finish uh, this whole tournament without having to be scored by any other team. And um, now I, uh, I'll be joined shortly by our analyst, uh, former Ghana striker Mo Moyo. And he'll be giving us an analysis. But if you're joining us uh, right now, we just uh, spoke to the two coaches and we are about uh, to kick off. The game is about to kick off. Um, and we are here in Gezi at the Baobab Stadium. Now I am joined by our analyst for today, Mo Moyo. Mo, tell me, you know, if if if, if uh, Dynamos loses this game, it means that um, this would be their first defeat. Do you, do you think this is going to ha happen today? Um, I really think it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to happen. Why? Because uh, they've got nothing to play for. Okay. They've got nothing to play for. I think mm -hmm. at most they're trying... Uh, new combinations and they're trying to make sure that those guys, the fringe players, get game time before they get to, to the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. So I don't see Dynamos winning today. Mm. Yeah. Well, we have seen, you know, Dynamos of late, they have a tendency of just, you know, getting the results, even if they're not really into the game. Um, uh, you know, uh, can the Sunshine uh, boys give them that? Uh, if you watch the first match, uh, it was a very balanced match and Dynamos got a goal from almost nothing. Uh, a cross that was headed in, uh, but um, I thought Arrested actually played very well. Uh, they dominated, especially position. So uh, I think if uh, Arrested keeps on playing like they have been doing, of, of course uh, <laughs> we 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 have to discount last week's match where they lost three three nil. Um, all the other matches they've been playing very good football. They build up from the back, the patience, and oh. I'm sure they are going to get uh, to, to get their goals. And also, if you look at um, Clive Rupia mm -hmm. and uh, Manondo, those are the key players. If they come to the party, especially Clive, then I'm sure uh, Harare City can can win the match. Well, Mo, um, you know, just two goals considered so far by Dynamos uh, in nine games. Do you think Harare City can actually breach this, you know, formidable defense? <laughs> Um, it really depends with uh, how the defence has been uh, has been set out today. If uh, Coach Ndiraya makes changes uh, at the back, I don't know, did he make any changes uh, at the back? If he did make any changes at the back, I think uh, it affects the, the whole uh, defence of Dynamos. But I see Timon Vula is going to start, he was, he was key uh, in last week's match. And uh, for your information, Dynamos' goals are on, on goals. They were both scored by July. And uh, I, I believe July is starting again today, so <laughs> we, can, we can as well say if July is there, maybe uh, Rana City has got a chance because he, he will score in his own, <laughs> he may score in his own goal. <laughs> But you know what, besides uh, Jala having, you know, scoring on goals, the coach, uh, I have the coach right now, he just said that, um, you know, they still want to win just so they can keep the reputation they have so far of not having any team scoring against them. So I think you're wrong. I think they've got something to play for. They've got something to uphold. Um, you know, Tonde and uh, Lloyd, they are, they are very good friends. These guys were playing for, they were just... Uh, the national team coach is about three, four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So they are very good friends and uh, they really know each other. And uh, I, I believe uh, uh, Lloyd uh, knows Tonde's number. <laughs> and today he's going to call that number to make sure. Because ZPC really needs it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, uh, ZPC needs it and Arara City really needs it. Mm -hmm. And um, the good thing about the whole thing is um, it's in Arare City's uh, hands. Mm -hmm. They don't need anyone to do anything for them. Mm -hmm. They just have to win this match. Mm -hmm. So I think with that kind of focus, uh, I also want to believe that they are going to work on their midfield, which was the biggest letdown last week when they lost uh, in Arare, when they lost to Arantia, was 3-0. Mm -hmm. If they sort that one out, uh, they've got a big chance. And uh, like I said, uh, in as much as Tonde says uh, they want to win and everything, mm -hmm. but in the players' mind, they know that they've qualified for the quarterfinals, Already. they've mm -hmm. got nothing to play for, so it's really difficult to say, come on guys, go and give it your all. When they know they've qualified, they're mm -hmm. playing for nothing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think it will work better for Arrested. Well, more just to round up, what's your prediction on this one? 
I think two one in favor of Ferrari City. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Mo. Thank you, Shasha. That's uh, Mo Moyo, our analyst for today. And he was just giving us his opinions. Now the game is about to kick off. But the biggest question today is, will Harare City hand a Dynamos the defeat, <laughs> the, their first defeat of the tournament? Well, do stay with us. Two sides, Gezi Platinum, uh, here at uh, the Baobab Stadium, home of um, Gezi Platinum Stars. And um, Harare City, well, they've got a lot of work to do this this morning if they are to qualify for the quarterfinals. Remember, Dynamo's already qualified for the quarterfinals, and um, Harare City, they are second on the lock standings. And, um, they are sitting on 13 points, so they need to get a positive result from this match. Remember, there is another match currently going on at the same time with this one at uh, the National Sports Stadium. Also, a very important game between uh, Caps United and ZBC Kariba. So you can see on the lock standings, Dynamos on 21, Harare City on 13, ZBC Kariba on 11, Yada on 11, but uh, they're done with their games. Caps United on 9, Herentals on 7, but the fight is between Harare City and ZPC Kariba. If ZPC Kariba get three points today, they will get to 14. That coupled with the Harare City loss today will mean that ZPC Kariba qualify for the quarterfinals. But Harare City, all they need is at least a draw if they get a draw in this game they might have a chance of going through to the quarterfinals so we are bracing up for kickoff here at uh, the barber stadium in, in gezi home uh, to gezi platinum stars uh, who were playing in uh, group four the group four was uh, domiciled at mandawa stadium in uh, zishavani so we'll see how the two teams will be lined up uh, today uh, we heard from tony ryan Diraya that he made a couple of changes to his team he's got uh, some uh, key players that are missing pats and jaure frank makarati uh, trevor mavunga and um those guys are missing uh, as well as uh, got Nosmuru and Shadrach Nyawa because uh, they've got a couple of uh, yellow cards. They got two yellow cards in the previous game. So risking, t risking them today 
meant that uh, if any of them got a yellow card, a third one, that means that they will miss the quarterfinals, which are slated uh, for next week. We had to be advised of the venues, but the quarterfinals are on next week. But this is uh, one of the biggest games from Group 1 because a lot is at stake. We'll see how Harare City come back uh, after that disappointing 3-0 loss to, to Herentals last weekend. So today, they really need to get a victory. Well, if they can't get a victory, maybe a draw will see them over the line. Or it only depends with the amount of uh, goals they've got and the ones that... Um, the team they are chasing that semi-final, the quarter-final berth with, have got. That's uh, ZPC Kariba. So that's the Harare City bench there. Lord Chitembwe with the blue jeans and that floral shirt. And um, that's the substitute bench there on his um, far left side. And uh, just making sure Matongo Rere Nelson, one of the assistant coaches, is also there. Just making sure that uh, they are ready. He looks ready, rolling up the sleeves there. Yeah, I think he needed to roll up the sleeves. Oh, he needs to do it now before his head got dirty. You know, the amount of shouting that he'll be doing uh, on that touchline. Last time around at the National Sports Stadium in that game against the Rentals, he was sent off. So he's hoping that he's going to last the entire distance today and see his team qualify for the quarterfinals and talking about the quarterfinals the quarterfinal lineup dynamos who take on uh, black rhinos gezi platinum stars will be playing against uh, chicken in highlanders take on fc platinum so now we yet to see who is going to be playing against either ZPC Gariba or Harare City from uh, this group. But um, it's uh, Kremlin Bullets who will be taking on any of these sides from uh, Group 1. So the teams are out. And uh, just waiting to get the toss done. And then, boom, we are ready to go. Referee of the afternoon. We'll be taking you through that. Washington Chari being assisted by Paisun Zoguonera, Victor Cambazo in the fourth. That's the tall gentleman there amongst the referees. He's so they are ready to to the toss. So Harare City getting ready to come on. Moses Michenja today in the starting lineup. William Manondo is also there. So that's the lineup for Harare City. Prospect Gumango. Moses Michenja playing in the midfield. Zukomboro Bizeki. Innocent Zambezi is back. Hesting Siapusha. Kumbiraisha Kapikinu. Dinolin Masukuta. Jerry Chipangura. Claude Rupia. William Manondo and Imano Mandiranga to complete the starting 11 for the Sunshine Boys. So they will be hoping that um, the gods will smile at them this morning and uh, get a win so that they qualify for that uh, semi-final, quarter-final berth, rather. Dynamo Sataman Vula and Go Munyara Dimawadza makes uh, his second start in uh, these Shibuku Super Cup matches. Sylvester Apia, Tino Muringa, Imano Jalai, Trevor Mavunga, Tanaka Chidoba, Banabas Mushunje, Chari Soni Selemani is also in the team, David Temanjira, and uh, Bill Antonio. Some of the French players are in this uh, team uh, today. So he's hoping that uh, they will be able to come to the party and uh, get uh, the points that they need. Remember, Dynamo's conceding just two goals as they are going through their pre-match ritual. That uh, prayer on uh, the goal line. 
So I wonder if all of them will be praying. But uh, what's uh, amazing for Dynamos today, they've got two youngsters. So that's uh, the war cry. It's uh, one of the things that was introduced when Tundra and I took over because we used to know Dynamos just doing the prayer on that goal line. So I was talking about uh, two guys that are in that starting lineup today. Stephen Chatikobo, who's a Form 4 student at Prince Edward. Then uh, Tanyarazwa Jinja. Albert Manenji, rather, is also in there wearing jersey number 15. He will be uh, slotted at the back there. So he's also in that starting. He's 21 years old. So these two guys coming through from uh, the juniors. And Washington Charlie blows to get this match underway. Arare City getting this underway. Chibuku Super Cup encounter here at uh, the Baobab Stadium in Gezi. And it's action from Group 1, Harare City, taking on Dynamos Harare City in that uh, orange and uh, Dynamos in their traditional blue colors. So both teams trying to size each other up. This early in this match, Prosper Chigumba getting the post for Harare City. And Danmus will take the throw in on that far side. Mawadza looking for options in the middle of the park. That's the youngster, Stephen Chatikobo, playing up front. Well, when the tournament started, the Chibuku Super Cup, Banabas was a permanent fixture in this uh, Danos lineup. And uh, things changed. He could not keep his place. And he was just content with the place on uh, the bench. But uh, looks like now he's uh, back. Well, wow. Some might say because this is more of a training for Dynamos, trying to see different combinations for the quarterfinals because they already qualified for the quarterfinals by a country mile for that matter. But Taimon Vula trusted to gut the Dynamos Goria once again. Long ball up front, looking for Jalai on that far side. Sassetti who lay back onto that far side. Dinolin Masukuta, looking for Hastings Chapusha on the near side. Chapusha looks up, Bizeki back to Chapusha. And will come up with a crossfield ball onto that far side. Jalai now picking up the loose ball. Will come up with a cross, poorly done. And it's headed out onto that far side. Clav Rupia can carry it forward now. Up here, using his vast experience to shield the ball away from uh, the Harare City players. But danger not averted is yet. Sylvester up here, the Ghanaian input. Cross into that box and straight into the arms of uh, Taiman Vula. Bizeki watching uh, Bill Antonio with hawk size. Moses Muchenje laying it onto that far side. Zambezi finding Clive Rupia and Mali Selo now who look to get it out of. That dangerous area. They lead all the way back to Moringai, who offloads 
looking for Bill Antonio. So Dynamos have got two teenagers in uh, the starting 11, Bill Antonio and Steven Chatikobo, all students at uh, Prince Edward. Oh, Bill Antonio is in upper six, but Steven Chatikobo is in form four. So Tondira and Diraya are trying different combinations and also giving game time to players from his developmental side, Bizeki. Onto that far side. For Dynamos who look to clear their lines. Moringai takes it shot. Moya is looking to set up uh, one of the debutants. Bizeki, cross through ball to that far side. City happy with playing some uh, neat passes. Chapusha under pressure. Trying to control that ball, Bizeki. And Mandiranga does well. But good play from uh, Steven Chatikobo. Maliselo. Floats looking uh, for Temanjira. But this one will roll straight onto that far side. Chapusha. Bizeki. Prosper Chigumba also. Enjoying the exchanges. Kumbara Shika Pikinu will float onto the near side. Looking for the dreadlocked Mandiranga. Moses Muchenge. So Moses uh, being uh, partnered this morning in that heart of the city midfield. He's been partnered by Kumbara Shika Pikinu. Bizeki and Malicello marshalling that Dynamo's midfield. Still Malicello looking for options, gliding forward. And he sets up Meneco Polo. And it comes, oh my word. That was close, David Temanjira. Just putting it wide. He had been really set up nicely by Albert Manenji. There, Manenji. And, uh, oh my word. So Chapusha offloads offside on Mandiranga on the near side. So Dynamos did their business early in uh, this group one. Chigumba, formerly with Caps United. Chapusha. So, Harare uh, City missing uh, Machazani. And uh, 
Ben Musaka, who have been playing as the two center halves for the side. So it looks like uh, the same problems that uh, Dynamo's have are also affecting Arada City because Dynamo's are missing their reliable center halves. Patson Jaure, Frank Makarati. Time on Vula. Waiting to dispatch this one. He's looking for options. And finally, he comes up with a clearance. Finding July. And Dynamos lose position. Ten minutes gone in uh, this game. Harare City nil. Dynamos nil. As the Shibuku Super Cup. Matches the last round of matches group games. Remember, groups two to four did their business last week, and uh, this group, because it had uh, six teams, other groups had four teams each. This group had six teams, so they had uh, more matches to go through. Munyar, Muchenje. Onto that far side. Can a cross come through? It does, it's a low one. And it will be cleared by Munyaradzi Mawaza. Dan was happy to play, dipping their own off. Tino Muringai, Ali Maliselo, beats his marker cleanly. And he sets up Bill Antonio on that nasty run on the near side. Antonio cuts inside. Through ball, but offside on that far side. Temanjira wasn't watching his line. Good call by the officials. Washington Chari, the referee of the morning. Muchenji. Kapikinu now. Finding on that far side. Shorupia. Brought down by Mawaza. City not in a hurry to take this one. Chapusha. Dinali Masukuta on to the near side. Finally, it's offloaded and uh, Mandiranga who chase. Throw in uh, two Dynamos. Albert Manenji did well to shield the ball away from Mandiranga. Manenji, poor clearance from him. Kapikinu now. A shot will come through. Oh, nearly causing problems there. To time on Vula. That was the shot that came and took that awkward bounce just in front of time on Vula. So corner kick to Arari City. Corner kick will come through. So Darmus are failing to clear their lines. It's back to the corner kick position. Asukuta tries.
and uh, Damas can now afford to get off their blocks. Rubia. Adonimus of their blocks now. On that far side, Temanjira tries. And he gets a corner kick out of that. And Ryan Dira just barking instructions. On the touchline. As Mushunja goes over to that far side to take the corner kick. corner kick. But this one will be uh, Harare City. Goal kick. So 15 minutes gone in this game. Marari City nil down with nil. We are live right here on uh, Zim Papers Television Network from uh, the Baobab Stadium in Gezi. Chapusha looking to find Dinolin Masukuta on that far side. Dinolin was missing from uh, the city lineup last weekend. He's back. Capiquinho. Looking for Bizaki into the middle. And danger. Lurking there. And Chetikobo who just put that one out for a corner kick. It was a nice flowing move from Arari City, which is always looking dangerous. <laughs> So Mandiranga takes the corner kick, gets to retake and cleared by Jalai. Taman Vula takes a shot. Apia finds Mawadza, who finally floats. And uh, City does well on that far side. Bizeki. So, Albert Maninji penalized for that push. Kapikini. Dinolin Masukuta can drive forward on that far side. Comes up with a cross. Headed away by Mawaza. Chatikob. Steven. And this warrants a yellow card. And Mandiranga is the first one to get a yellow card for that foul on Chatikobo. First play we booked this morning in this game. Panabas Mushunji of Lodes, Fanny Bill Antonio. Antonio? So it's going to be a goal kick for Harare City. Masukuta finding Kapikin.
Chapusha. So far, so good for City dictating the pace and uh, getting uh, a couple of good chances to get the opening they want. July finds Mushut. On to July once again on that far side. Ranging forward. Checks back. And picks up. Mawad. Apia today wearing the captain's armband. Albert Maninji. On to Chatikobo. Chatikobo makes a mess. It was a flowing move, but in the end, nothing came out of it. So 20 minutes gone already in this game. Harare City nil down almost nil. Chubuku Super Cup action from uh, Group 1. This is the last round of group games in this tournament before we get to the quarterfinals next weekend. Kapikinu. Pizeki. Kapikinu. Vogue once again. Rubia. Gets past two markers. Laying it onto the near side. Picks up Mandiranga across will come, but blocked by Albert Maninji. So throw in. deep inside of the Dalmas half. They take it shot, and Maninji concedes a corner kick. So City have gotten a couple of these corner kicks. Chitembwe just directing where he wants his players to go. Chapusha onto the near side, Masukuta, and uh, brought down there by Malicelo. So, free kick it is to the Sunshine Boys. Three players behind the ball. Masukuta, Muchenje, and Mandiranga. And um, Bula also trying to set up a three man wall. That's called Chetikobo Mawadza and uh, Maliselo. So is it going to be Masukuta or Mandiranga to take this one? It's Masukuta and straight onto the wall. Cleared by Malicello, but not very far. Still bobbling around in that Dynamo's half. Rupia can drive it forward on that far side. So he gets a free kick as he was testing for position there with Donabas Mishunji. And uh, City will take this free kick, but this one is from uh, that far side in the Olivet for Club Rubia. It's really set up well at Harare City Club up here. Got a couple of uh, very important, crucial goals for the Sunshine Boys. 
Mukia takes it, shot and straight into the arms of Tan Bula. Waste of a standard situation. It was never going to trouble the Dynamo's goalkeeper. So Bill Antonio thought he was uh, through onside on goal, but the far side assistant referee saying he was in an offside position. So 25 minutes gone. How about the city nil? Dynamo's nil. Water break. For these uh, two teams. Remember, there's also another game going on from this group concurrently with this one. Caps United playing against the PC Cariba. Another crucial game for that final bet in the quarterfinals. So ZPC Kariba still got a chance. So is Harari City. So time to hydrate as uh, temperatures are hovering around 33 degrees here in Ngezi. And for these guys, they need plenty of fluids because of the running around they're doing. And this also affords the coaches an opportunity to re-strategize. So the break is uh, done and uh, we are ready to resume. So Chikumba will get us underway now. City, still looking for an opening in this game. Chapusha being partnered by Innocent Zambezi and Dinolin Masukuta is playing far out on that far side as a left wing back. Chapusha came through the Harare City Juniors structures. He was with the Cubs in uh, Division 1 before graduating into the senior team a couple of seasons back. And uh, he has staked his place in this team. A couple of coaches have come and gone. Antonio will chase. Achigumba finds Zambezi on that far side. He brings in Masugu to into play over the halfway line on that far side. Chapusha. So Arari City enjoying the launch of possession here. Plenty of possession they have got, the Sunshine Boys. July. 
laying in for Chetsi Kobo on that far side. A cross will come. And it comes to Antonio. Gets to do it again. But uh, this time, it's a tame shot. Straight at post Pachigumba. City with Masukuta Zambezi on change. Chapusha or oh, looking for a way to penetrate that wall from Dynamos. That first line of defense. So Chapusha and uh, Zambezi complementing each other very well in that heart of the city defense. Jerry Chipangura, but coolly chested down there by Chalai. And Manondo is down. So half an hour gone. Harare City nil, Darms nil. Bit of a breeze here at uh, the Baobab Stadium. So what is John Shari? Just making sure that he controls the situation out there on the park. Bizeki. Zambezi now. Masuguta over the halfway line. Looking for options, he finds Muchenje in the center circle. Muchenje makes a mess, taken away by Diamond now. Maliselo. Knocks it forward onto Jalai on that far side. Jalai with a cross. Nobody. There for Danos. So Troy. Dispatched by Bizeki. Chugumba. Zambezi easing the pressure on that far side. But Jones is still lurking on the edge of that box. So in the other game between uh, Caps and uh, ZPC, ZPC already leading by a goal to nil. Which complicates life a little bit for the Sunshine Boys. Yes, a draw might be able to do them a world of favors, but uh, they need to get a victory here. So throw it on the near side. Going to Harare City. Chapusha. Who spread it onto that far side. And Zambezi offloads. Picking up Masukuta. Manolo. So it comes through. 
and uh, bits. There was just too much weight on that cross and eluded everybody. So Danos will restart with a short one. Muringai. Mushunje. Looking for Albert Manenji. And he's not happy with uh, that lackadaisical like approach by Manenji. Looks like Bizeki is fine. And play resumes. Masukuta. Cross comes. Danger. And that's a goal kick, says Washington Child. Clive Rupia, he's been an integral part of this uh, Arari City side. Malicello playing like a midfield general. Getting a lot of balls and uh, he's been spraying them to his teammates. Zambezi now. Pizeki looks back for Chapusha. So 35 minutes gone already. Harare City Neil Dynamos Neil. It's the Chibuku Super Cup uh, Group One. Last round of matches. Masukuta checks back and finds Zambezi over the halfway line, but going in the opposite direction. And they'll retreat, retreat all the way back to Prosper Chukumba. Masukuta onto Mr. Chibuku. Still failing to penetrate that uh, Danos defensive third. So now Happy just turning around with uh, possession in the own half. Sukuta looking for Rupia. The cross will finally come! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good chance there for City. You can tell by how livid Apia was at that moment because of some lax marking from Dynamos. Albert Maninji making his debut for Dimbare. Zambezi. Dinolin Masuku. He's been. Uh, very good on that far side. A couple of crosses that he has uh, whipped into that downwards box. But uh, the Arari City players failed to utilize the crosses. Another opportunity there. But Bizeki will put it back in that dangerous area. But finally, downwards clear the alliance. Antonio will use his speed. But uh, Chapusha. Using his experience 
So experience triumphing over speed. Chugumba. Finds skipper today. Chapusha. Chapusha. Seeing a lot of balls. Yeah, they need to be patient like this, but at the end of the day, it's getting into the good spaces that's important, which they've uh, failed to do. So Darmus win possession. And it's Jalai on that far side. Chatiko on the edge of the box. Across. Poorly done by the youngster. The Form 4 student at uh, Prince Edward. He was looking to set up another Prince Edward student right in your picture. Bill Antonio. So 40 minutes gone in this game is still goalless between Harare City and Dynamos. And uh, there's a game currently underway as well from the National Sports Stadium. It's kept United Neil, ZPC Garibo 1. So this is the action in uh, the Chibuku Super Cup. And all the matches are live right here on Nazim Papers Television Network. We always say, Zetian, get the picture. This is the picture that we are giving to you. The Subuku Super Cup picture. Temanji. On to July. And Mawaza. Who will float. So City, not in a hurry to get play underway. Nyarat Mawadza, there was an issue there with him and uh, he's been attended to. Ndiraya and Uchekela just putting their heads together. Kapikinyo. Albert Maneji giving the ball to the wrong man. Chapusha now for the Sunshine Boys. Zambezi finds Dino Lin Masukuta on that far side. Kapigini. Nice triangles coming from uh, City. Patiently building it from the back. Chapusha. Jerry Chipangura on the edge of the box, a cross will come. It's a poor cross and uh, up here doesn't even need to sweat to clear. Chipangu once again forced to concede that throw in. Yes, 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 yes. 
So Tim Wanjira missed the sitter at the beginning of the game. So another free kick to the Sunshine Boys inside the Dynamo's half. Izeki opts to go back. Teacher Pusha who finds Zambezi on to Rupia. Been quiet in the past five minutes, Clive Rupia. Still City enjoy the Lions shell position here. Chapusha pushing it to Zambezi. Zambezi back to Chapusha. As we slowly glide towards the end of the first half, can City find the advantage? And Manjinji does well to block that cross from Mandirang. So corner kick to the Sunshine Boys. So ZPC Gariba leading caps by a goal to nil. As the corner kick come through and straight into the arms of Vula. So 45 minutes by our clock, just one minute of time minute on. And uh, looks like uh, that one minute had already been played. And Washington Charlie just going to end the first 45 minutes. Well, plenty of chances for Arara City. Dynamos got one chance, which was put wide by David Temanjira, unmarked inside uh, the Arara City 16 yard area. And well, it's been Arara City who enjoyed. The last share of possession here. But half time it is here at uh, the Baobab Stadium in Gezi. And it's Harare City nil, Dynamos nil. live on Zimpaper's TV network and the Premier Soccer League Facebook pages. At Chicken Inn, we believe that love is timeless. We know that it is the simple moments that matter. Simple moments that become the priceless moments we cherish. We understand that what we love brings us together and that our vows and commitments bind us even closer. And so as days turn into months, months turn into years, and years turn into milestones, we remember the smiles, the laughter, and the things we love. As time and age advance, and the blessing of love is passed on to yet another generation. As past, present, and future collide, all that remains are the moments shared together, the memories. All that remains is love. The original Zimbabwean taste you've loved since 1987.
Chicken Inn. Nyara Zolai Fashuarins Company, through one of its products, the Score Pack Plan, supports Dynamo's football club, one of the biggest soccer teams in the country and other local football clubs. With the Score Pack Plan, not only will you score for you and your family, but for your favorite local PSL soccer team as well. For each premium payment you make, your nominated soccer club will get paid from the Nyarazo Life Assurances Score Pack Plan. Make sure you get Score Pack. Get Score Pack. Support your favorite team, support your family. Your family needs you, your team needs you. Get score pack. Get the score pack plan. Supporting your team has never been this rewarding. Get a score pack policy and support your favorite football team today. Your friend in steel, Steelmate Investments, brings you a bigger environment to shop for your steel products. A new roofing sheet manufacturing plant completes your satisfaction to your construction project. Chromadec and galvanized roofing sheets are manufactured while you wait and still cut and bent to custom size. Products in stock are diverse for use in agriculture, mining, engineering, construction sectors and for personal use. Call your friend and steel marketing team today on 242-611-802 or 3 or visit our website www.steelmate.co.zw Simbiaco Pa Steelmate Investments, your friend in steel. At Chicken Inn, we believe that love is timeless. We know that it is the simple moments that matter Simple moments that become the priceless moments we cherish. We understand that what we love brings us together and that our vows and commitments bind us even closer. And so as days turn into months, months turn into years, and years turn into milestones, we remember the smiles, the laughter, and the things we loved as time and age advance and the blessing of love is passed on to yet another generation. As past, present, and future collide, all that remains are the moments shared together, the memories. All that remains is love. The original Zimbabwean taste you've loved since 1987. Chicken Inn. Steelmate Investments is your friend for all your steel products and roofing sheets. From IBR galvanized and chromadec roofing sheets, universal beams, deformed bars, angle irons, mesh wire, mild steel channels, mild and binox steel plates, puke pipes, tubes, barbed wire, and much more. We cut your sheets to specific sizes. So have another match that's currently ongoing at the National Sports Stadium, where Caps United are taking on ZPC Kariba. And so far, ZPC Kariba are leading with a goal. And also, do put in mind that, that if ZPC Kariba wins at this game against Caps United, they still need Harare City to lose against a Dynamos for them to actually qualify in the quarterfinals. But now, just for a brief analysis, I've got Mo joining me here once again. And I must say, Mo, I know you've been biased towards Harare City <laughs> <laughs> since the start of this match. And I must say, I'm quite impressed uh, you know, by their goal position in the first half. How did the, the game go for you? Uh, uh, the first time. Shamin, uh, the match is not balanced. Uh, Harare City is dominated <laughs> from the beginning to the end. I knew you would say that. <laughs> no, but the statistics say it. You know, uh, Harare City has had four corner kicks mm -hmm. compared to Dynamo's one corner kick. Dynamo's is trying to rely on uh, on breaks from uh, the wing, uh, the wings, both right and left, and they're leaving one striker up front. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Caps, uh, um, uh, caps are, are, are losing. Mm -hmm. And it means that uh, if 
they, they concede more goals, ZPC might actually have a chance. But if it ends a draw here, it would mean that uh, for Harare City, they will still qualify. Um, first half, I would, I would give it to Harare City. Harare City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, you know, uh, what do you think about uh, time on Vula's save in, the, in about uh, the 17th minute uh, there, thereabouts? Um, that was a brilliant, brilliant save. And time, time, on, time on Vula uh, from last week, he's just continued from where he left. Was that, that ball had uh, an awkward bounce just in front mm -hmm, of him. Mm -hmm. It takes a real good goalkeeper to actually save that. He saved it for a corner. That mm -hmm. was very good by time on Vula. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's also the, 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 the big guys commanding the defence there mm -hmm. because they've lost uh, two defenders, key players, Murwira, mm -hmm. and um, Wales is not in there. Uh, in, in the Dynamo's defense, Jauri, the captain. Yes. So he's, he's the leading uh, guy at the back there. So mm -hmm. he's doing a good job. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, what do you have to say about uh, David Tiamanjiris' uh, miss? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Dynamo's is surviving, so surviving on those breaks. Mm -hmm. And uh, the breaks are coming in from um, through balls by Ali Maliselo. And mm -hmm. uh, two of those through balls is actually from his own half. Mm -hmm. And when you get a through ball like that, you need to take it. Because mm -hmm. the chances are, are far and wide. And Temanjira missed the sitter. It was supposed to be a goal there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Dynamos should be one up now. <laughs> well, you just uh, mentioned there that, uh, you know, Dynamos is missing key players like uh, Jauri and God knows. Do you think it's affecting how they are playing, you know, to a greater extent? I wouldn't say it's affecting uh, how they're playing because this is exactly how they set out again uh, last week against Caps. Mm -hmm. They soak in the pressure and then try to hit on, uh, on, on counter. And so far they've done well. They've mm -hmm. managed to contain all the, the attacks from Arara City. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe it would need some uh, uh, individual brilliance to, to break mm -hmm. Dynamo's defense. Well, what do you have to say about um, Harris City's um, uh, mi you know, midfield where Kumbi and uh, Moses Mchenje there are, are dominating? I've, I've always said uh, Moses Mchenje should always start for, for caps. Mm -hmm. And Kumbi, Kumbi's as cool as they come. Mm -hmm. uh, just there in front of the, the, the central defense, uh, they've, they've mopped up everything, they've controlled, they, they've dictated play. But I would want uh, maybe for Lloyd to push uh, Moses Mushenji a little bit up, because Moses can get into the box and comes, comes with mm -hmm. uh, a rare goal here and there. So I would want him to push, because Dynamos is not attacking that much. Why do you keep two d uh, defensive midfielders there? Mm -hmm. So if he pushes Moses Mushenji up there, I'm, I'm sure uh, Arrest it will, will get a goal. Now more Manondo Smith in the ninth, uh, 39th minute there. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? I know you've got something to say about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, as Mr. Chibuku, I expected better. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the uh, lead, all-time leading scorer in the Chibuku Super Cup. And uh, that was a sitter. He was just supposed to tap it in. And if you look at it, there is... Um, the left side of uh, attack is the outlet for Arare City, and they've used it very well. Clive Rupia and uh, Dinolin, mm -hmm. they've used it very well, and with a good cross, I think they are still good. They're still in. They are still in with a chance. Well, thank you very much, Mo. If you are joining us here on ZT, and we are in Gezi, where Harare City are currently taking on a Dynamo in the uh, match day ten first group of matches of the Chibuku Super Cup. So do stay with us for the... Steelmate Investments is your friend for all your steel products and roofing sheets. From IBR galvanized and chromatic roofing sheets, universal beams, deformed bars, angle irons, mesh wire, mild steel channels, mild and binox steel plates, pube pipes, tubes, barbed wire, and much more. We cut your sheets to specific sizes. We deliver all big orders for free in Harare and charge just diesel and toll gate for out of Harare orders. We also do cutting and bending of deformed bars on site. Visit us at 346 Affirmative Way, Willowvale, or gate number 8 Mbare Magaba and number 1 Easterman's Place, also in Magaba. For Mbare, call us on 0788-930-550 up to 555 and Willowvale at 0788-930-556 up to 561. Email us on steelmate.investments at gmail.com or marketing at steelmate.co.zw. At Chicken Inn, we believe that love is timeless. We know that it is the simple moments that matter. 
simple moments that become the priceless moments we cherish. We understand that what we love brings us together and that our vows and commitments bind us even closer. And so as days turn into months, months turn into years, and years turn into milestones, we remember the smiles, the laughter, and the things we loved. As time and age advance, and the blessing of love is passed on to yet another generation. As past, present, and future collide, all that remains are the moments shared together, the memories. All that remains is love. The original Zimbabwean taste you've loved since 1987. Chicken Inn. Introducing SeaTrack Fleet Tracking Solutions. How would you like to reduce your fleet's fuel and maintenance cost by up to 20% or make your operation up to 30% more efficient, all whilst securing your fleet and having full visibility on every detail at any time? Then SeaTrack's Fleet Tracking Solution is for you. So I think it comes down to the number of goals that City or that uh, ZPC are going to score. Because th as things stand at the moment, they need to score four more goals without reply for them uh, to have a chance of going through to the quarterfinals or they'll pray that Dynamos will score and beat Harare City here and uh, things will remain as they are at the National Sports Stadium. July. Malicer and Chatikobo who help it but finds uh, Albert Maninji on that far side. Moringai. So corner kick for Danos on that far side. So Danos will be hoping that the second half they'll play much better because they played second field or two city in the first half. Mushunje behind the corner kick for Dimbari. He comes through. Mandranga trying to set up the counter for City. Mandiranga. Switch on to Muchenji. Dinolin Masukuta finding Rupia. Gets another chance. The cross and blocked once again. And is a throw in. Good play by Imam Jala. Jalai dispatches the throwing, but Dinolin Masukuta will let Zambezi clear this one. Manenji on to Mushunji on that far side. Manenji breaks free. Oh, looking to set up and a chance there. Oh, Chatikoba blazes are over. Good 
moved by Dynamos. Started deep by Albert Manenji. And he was at hand and looking for somebody there. Chatikovo came. And uh, I'm sure the youngster was seeing headlines written all over. This is his first start for Dynamos. He might want to forgive the youngster. Form 4 student at uh, Prince Edward. That's Chatikovo. Zambezi. Chapusha. Pushing it wide onto that far side. Bizeki of loads. Looking for Jerry Chipangura. But taken away by Danamus Mushunje. Chatukova. Looking for Jalai. Chatukova can keep it down. Fifty-one minutes. Arad is gone. Arad City Neil Dynamos Neil. We're live right here on uh, Zim Papers Television Network. Better play from Dynamos in the second half. City relaxing a bit. Mawaza. Offside, taken quickly. On to that far side. So the cross, or oh, good play there by Moringai to narrow the angle for Mandirang. Moringai. Danus seeing a lot of possession in this second half. Apia. Mishunja finds Antonio. The final pass, not good enough. Chapusha. And Bizeki will lay it back to Chapusha. We change also involved in the exchanges. Chabusha, Bizeki once again. They are failing to break that uh, first line of defense by Dynamos. Up here, under pressure there. Albert Manenji using his body to shield the ball away from Capiquinho. So this one will roll straight to the goalkeeper. Moringai offloads on that far side. Offside again. Those youngsters failing to keep their lines. The Dynamos youngsters who are playing up front. Bel Antonio. And of course, the veteran David Temanjira. Oh, 
55 minutes gone. Harare City nil, Dynamos nil. City now. With Rubia. Adamus clear, but only as far as Capiquinho, and it will be spread wide onto that far side. Bizeki keeps it in play. Chapusha finds his uh, centre partner, Zambezi. Capiquinho. So Capiquinho and uh, Muchenje playing in the heart of that city midfield. Tatenda Tavimba is not there today. Ben Musaka also not around. Temanjira clears. Finds himself in an unfamiliar territory. And Zambezi sliding into the challenge and just sneaking Bel Antonio's heels. Almost. That is, there is another Dynamo's player down. Out of your picture. That's why play has been temporarily stopped. So that he can be attended to. David Temanjira. And you kind of wonder what he's doing in that part of the field. He's expected to be leading the line. Did I? That pensive look. Up here. Purchase this one. The shot comes. Bit of confusion with that shot that came from Bill Antonio. I'd love to see that on a replay. Did he hit the target? This was. What happened? Hit the upright. Came back into play. So there's a change. But it happened. For Dynamos. And it's uh, Temanjira who's making way. And is replaced by Luke Musikiri. Another one from uh, the Dunham's development side. And he's also a schoolboy at Prince Edward as well. Prosper Jigumba says thank you. He was not under pressure any in that instance. Masukuta only finds Albert Manenji. A city attacks on that far side with Mandiranga. Trying to use his speed past Moringa. 
Come on. Check back. He finds Kapigi. And of course, finally come. Yes, he does. Good connection there. By Manondo. So now we're gone in this game. Harari City Neil, Dynamo's Neil. That was a good connection first time. So corner kick to City. This one will roll out for a Dynamo's goal kick. Malicelo. Too much weight on that pass from Malicelo. Zambezi. Masukuta. And do that far side. Zambe Bizeki turns well. Kapikinho, who switches it onto the near side. And Masukuta makes a mess. And Luke Musikiri was in non men's land there. So offside. Good marking by Jalai. Rubia. Capiginho looks back and finds Zambezi. Chapusha, who spread it onto that far side. Nicely building it up at the back. The Sunshine Boys who change it now. And Mandiranga tries. So corner kick to Harare City. Comes through hey, danger. Come on, go kick. Good header on that occasion. But uh, could not pick his spot. Was the corner kick, and that was the connection there. The keeper already beaten, miles away. Chapusha finding Zambezi over the halfway line. Masukuta turns nicely, and lays it onto that far side. Capiquinho floats now, looking for options in the middle of the pack. But it's Dynamos with Musikiri, and again another blind pass. Odanamus uh, looks like the momentum they had in the past couple of minutes is gone now. And City are back dictating the pace. Chapusha knocks it forward, looking for Jerry Chipangura. Cooley down by Danamos. Malicelo. Antonio almost sneaking behind the two city defenders. But it's City now who come through with Dinolin Masukuta. And Chatikobo penalized. 
So City applying pressure at Malicello, who is it? And Musigiri can't get to the end of that pass by Malicello. Mandiranga now doing some defensive duties. Sixty-five minutes gone. Harari City nil, Dynamos nil. Chibuku Super Cup 2021. Oh, the Premier Soccer League changing the format of the this cup tournament and using this tournament as a precursor to the league. And because of uh, COVID restrictions and the costs involved in traveling around the country, they changed the format as well. So all the 18 teams put in different groups in their localities. And uh, group one, based in Harare, and matches were being played at the National Sports Stadium. Well, lately, some of them being extended to the Baobab Stadium here. At Dynamos, Caps United, Harare City, ZPC Kariba, Herentals, and Yada. And Group 2, based at uh, Baba Field Stadium in Bulawayo. At four teams, Chicken Inn, Highlanders, Bulawayo Chiefs, and Bulawayo City. As City come through, and Bula will come out to collect. So Group 3, based at Sakuva Stadium in uh, Mutare, had two Harare teams, Black Rhinos and Crambon Bullets, being pulled together with uh, Mutare teams, Tenax and Manika Diamonds. Then Group 4, the final group, based at Mandava Stadium in Zishavani, had the two Platinum teams, FC Platinum and Gezi Platinum Stars, Flanked by Wawa and Triangle. So, this is how the Premier Soccer League changed the format of uh, this tournament. And all teams involved in the group games played on a home and away basis. So now we're almost at the quarterfinal stage. And the last group games are on today at the National Sports Stadium. ZPC Gariba taking on Caps United. And here, Harare City playing against Dynamos. Because there's still one more place to go in the quarterfinals. And the quarterfinals slated for next week. At a venue to be ad advised, but the game will be live right here on uh, Zim Papers Television Network. So don't worry, you can't get to where the games are. We will stream them live to you. Chapusha for the Sunshine Boys picking up Chigumba onto Zambezi on the near side. Chapusha 
with the captain Sam Bendy in the absence of Marshal Machazan and Masuguta. Mujaj. What can they do with this? Harare City? Dino Lima Suguta. They're back again to Chapusha. So 70 minutes gone. Harare City nil down must nil. Just 20 more minutes for either of these two teams to find three points here. Manon gives the ball away cheaply. And Jalai again losing possession unnecessarily. And Maliselo does well with a sliding challenge. But he can't pick up Musigiri, the substitute. The cross will come. And it's cleared on that far side. Manenji. Looks like there's an issue with the Harare City player out of your picture. It's William Manondo. Oh, it's Jerry Jibangura. Who was on his haunches. It looks like he's okay. And both teams will go for the water break. Just to hydrate, uh, remember the temperatures around this place in Gezi? Hovering around 33 degrees, 32 degrees. So it's time for even the match officials to hydrate because of the running around they're doing. And Tony Ryan Dirai can also take this opportunity to bark instructions to his players. And Shari will do with a face wash as well. Dira and Loji Temple, very good friends. They were assistant coaches at the national team under Zdravko Logarusic. So these guys know each other very, very well in terms of tactics, in terms of play, because they also play together. Though Lloyd was playing for Caps United and Dira was playing for Dynamos. So we are ready to resume. <laughs> Rupia and Chatkovo does well, tracking back. But uh, Chari says that was illegal. Here he was. Oh, there was some shit pulling and tugging but a bit of a softy from Chari the knocked forward turn and shoot poorly done in the end So this is the new routine that Dynamos are using to take their goal kicks. They take a shot, then somebody will then offload Antonio, chasing. And Zambezi, 
cooling things for the Sunshine Boys. Did I happy so far with what his lads are doing? Though they haven't hit the back of the net yet, but uh, he'll tell you that he's satisfied. As he keeps trying, French players and also giving all of his players game time before the league resumes in about a fortnight. So 75 minutes gone. Harari City Neil Darmus Neil. Chikbuku Super Cup. Live right here on Nazim Papers Television Network. So latest that we're hearing from the National Sports Stadium. Caps are now in front. They lead by two goals to one over the PC Kariba. So whatever happens, Harare City will go through to the quarterfinals. So sweet news for the Harare City faithfuls. Chapusha who laid all the way back to Jugumba in goal for the Green Machine, for the Sunshine Boys rather. It's the Green Machine who are playing at uh, the National Sports Stadium against the PC Cariba. And uh, for the better part of the first half, they were trailing by a goal to nil. I came right and now they're in front. Chapusha laying it onto that far side, he gets a return. Looks up and cross field ball onto the near side now. But headed away by Imano Jalai. And Rubia, the try. Antonio will look to carry it forward. The poorly done in the end. Only finding Chapusha. Zambezi, breathing in agony. So that was what happened. Nah, it's really nothing. They all missed the ball. And there was the slightest of contacts there. But there's another city player down. It's Clive Rupia getting to be worked on by the medics. Looks like he's ready to continue. He's been uh, closely kept under check by Imano Jalai on the near side. <laughs> Zambezi restarts. Bizeki now. Masukuta. Chapusha. And a bit of pressure. And you find the goalkeeper. Very calm under pressure. Yes, things, Chapusha. Chigumba giving confidence to the lads. Also involved in the exchanges. Prosper Chigumba. The city goalkeeper. Oh, 
looking for ways to penetrate this Dalmo side. So far, failing to do that. 80 minutes gone. 10 more minutes to full time. Of course, plus uh, time added on. Masukuta does well. And it's taken away by Danmos now. Antonio. Good block by Zambezi. Chalai. Who looked to put it on that far side. Offside. On Musikiri. Says the near side assistant referee. So, I bet those are not vaccinated. Remember the Sports and Recreation Commission allowing about 2,000 fans to watch the games, provided they are vaccinated. But, yeah, hey, what a great way. Very innovative. Up the trees. And, uh, yeah, just enjoying a glimpse of the action. Jalai. Onto that far side. Musikiri, can you keep it in play? No, you can't. Chapusha once again for the Sunshine Boys. Zambezi, finding Chapusha. So far, so good for Harare City. They're just making sure that they don't concede. Change it, laying it back to the goalkeeper. And Japusha finally offloads onto that far side, but headed away. Chip forward on that far side. And Chati Kobo. Commits a foul on Chapusha. There was a push there by Chatikobo. Masukuta can't keep it in play. So time slowly ticking away. I know the other game that's uh, going on between ZPC and uh, Caps. Is Dan was trying to create an opportunity here. Yeah? Rupia. So Dharmas making a change. Tanaka Chidoba. Getting ready to come on. And he comes in for Bill Antonio. Chidoba came from FC Platinum. Was part of uh, their junior structures there. But failed to make it into the senior team. So he's trying his luck. And uh, with Dynamos, well, started brightly when he joined. But uh, things took a turn. And uh, the Bill Antonios of this world came. And Chidoba struggled to fit into the team. Okay. 
Chapusha. So 85 minutes gone. Five more minutes. Plus the referee's time at it on. So William Manondo clutching his ankle after that uh, collusion with Ali Malicello. He's hoping that it's not really bad that you would require to be substituted. And of course, as uh, the teams prepare for the quarterfinals, the coaches would really want to have all their players available for selection. He's hobbling off Manondo. Chigumba, Ondi Chapusha. Chigumba. Shaving off a few seconds of the clock. Manondo now, in the center circle. Onto that far side. What can they come up with, City? The cross comes! And held away by up here. Chidoba was the target there. But the execution not really done well. So City will get a throw in on that far side. Piseki with a throw in for City. Long throw. Appear for Dynamos. Chatikobo. And knocked forward by Muringa. Chadoba looking to chase, but in offside position. So Arari City will make a change. Jerry Chipangura makes way. And Emmanuel Ziwocha comes on. Jerry Chipangura was more of a passenger in the second half. Nothing much came from him in terms of attack for City. Zambezi, innocent. Turns well. And Rupia can't keep it in play. It's going to be a dynamo's ball on the near side. A minute of regulation time left in this game. Still goals between Harare City and Dynamos. But not many chances in this second half. The first half was a bit better. Came up with a couple of chances, especially for Harare City. So another offside. That's just been uh, the afternoon for Dimbari. Couple of offsides in the second half. 
So 90 minutes by our clock. Let's see how many more minutes we're going to play of the referee stamina at one. So that's uh, the end of the match here at the Baobab Stadium. Washington Charlie just blowing to end this contest here. Finishing goal is uh, between Arare City and Dynamos. Who we'll confirm with the other center at uh, the National Sports Stadium? For the last time we were there, it was Caps who were leading by two goals to one. So it looks like uh, Harare City have qualified. for the quarterfinals of the Chibuku Super Cup. ZPC were hoping that a Houdini was going to happen, but uh, their gods didn't come through for them. As, uh, well, the game is not over yet, but Kepsa are still leading by two goals to one. And this one here finishing Goalless and Harare City from uh, the 13th they had now they are on 14 and ZPC Kariba still stuck on 11. So you see hugs all over from the city players because what they wanted has just happened. The final team to be confirmed for the quarterfinals of the Chibuku Super Cup. Quarterfinals slated for next week, and the deal is the lineup. Danos play Black Rhinos, Harare City take on Crumbum Bullets, FC Platinum take on Highlanders, and Chicken Inn playing Gezi Platinum Stars. So, those are the eight teams remain standing in this Chibuku Super Cup. So after the quarterfinals next week, it's expected that the league will then start the following week. And uh, with the amount of matches played in this Chibuku Super Cup, teams have really tried different combinations and they've really got a time to knuckle down on their squads and find the best possible combinations. Harare City through to the quarterfinals. So is Dynamos from Group 1. So Harare City finishing second on the log in Group 1. And will take on the winners of Group 3. That's Cranbourne Bullets. So in a bit we'll be going down to the pitch side and talk to the coaches. Shaman Chasweka is ready for us. So we'll be going to her in a bit as she talks to the two coaches. And of course, the person we think deserves to be the player of the match. So Darmos finishing on 24 points in uh, the Chibuku Super Cup tournament. And uh, that's 10 points clear of second place, Harare City, who finished on 14.
the form that Dynamos had in this tournament. I know their faithfuls will be hoping that it will carry over into the league as well. So now I think we are ready to cross to Shamane Chasweka on the touchline. And first, she'll be talking to, Cap to Harare City coach Lloyd Chitembwe. It is full time here at the Baobab Stadium where Harare City were taking on a Dynamos and the match ended goalless, making both teams uh, qualify for the quarterfinals of the Chibuku Super Cup. Now I am joined by Harare City coach Lloyd Chitembo. It's good to have you once again, coach. Thank you. Now you've qualified for the quarterfinals and I must congratulate you on that one. Thank you. But now you face Cranbourne. Cro uh, what are your chances? I thought uh, it was a very good game, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, we are happy with the progression into the quarterfinals. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to, to the challenge against Cranbourne. I'm told they've been playing very, very well in, in, in recent matches. But uh, this is the challenge that we, 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 we face as football players and as well as football coaches. You know, we're happy, first and foremost, to, be, to, to qualify. But uh, yeah, again, I think we have a responsibility to do against Cranbourne and make sure we, we try and progress going beyond the next game. Well, on the, on the game that just ended, Coach, you know, you got some real, some real clear-cut chances, but mm -hmm. you couldn't convert. Yeah, this is the nature of the game. You know, not all chances are meant to, to be converted, but uh, I think the overall performance, I'm very, very impressed. I thought we kept the ball well, our distances, our angles of supporting were perfectly well. So, yeah, I don't want to, to be too hard on them. I thought they tried their best. Well, thank you very much, Coach. All the Pleasure. best. Thank you. That was Lloyd Chitembwe, Harare City. Coach, they're just telling us about the game and how excited he is that they have qualified for the quarterfinals. Now I am joined by Dynamo's coach, Coach Tandera Indiraya. Well, welcome once again. Thank you. Yeah, now your boys, they got some clear-cut chances, but, you know, they couldn't convert. Yeah, um, I think the plan was clear from, from the onset. We, we, were, we had five at the back. So naturally, when you do that, you are, you are sitting, and then you want to uh, to play on the break. That's what we were trying to do, but um, we were not really getting the final pass we were looking for. But uh, look, uh, I, I think a draw is a fair result. I thought we also uh, defended very well. I thought um, the youngsters we gave some debuts today. Uh, that's Albert Manenji was playing our left wing back and um, Stephen Chatikobo, 17 year old from Prince Edward School, was play playing in central midfield. I thought they did very well. I thought they did very well. I think that, that was our focus. We are quite happy that um, they come, they, all the youngsters that we have in our team are coming through. That really gives our team a very good balance. So yeah, despite getting a result here, um, which we were looking for uh, anyway, because we wanted to finish the 10 games without any defeat, uh, we have done that. So that, that can only give us confidence going forward. But uh, overall, I'm quite impressed with uh, those who played today, despite uh, us missing about five, five regular, regular players. So yeah, I'm quite happy. It shows that we really have a very good balance in our team. Mm -hmm. But like you mentioned, uh, you know, the introduction of the new players and also yeah. some players that have not had not been playing, yes. uh, did, did that not minimize your chances of scoring? Uh, I, I thought we, we, had, we, had, uh, we had enough chances to score. We created enough opportunities for us to score. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think we were let down by uh, some decisions in the, in the, final, in, in the final third. So I, I wouldn't really say that those, uh, in fact, we actually created better chances to, today than, the, than the, the, when we played against Capes United. So I, I'm, happy, I'm happy that we have a good balance. I think that's what is important going forward. We can uh, pick whoever we want to play uh, with ease. So yeah, so that, 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 that is what is really pleasing me. But uh, look, I think we had chances to score. We couldn't score. They didn't create as, as many clear-cut chances, which meant that we were very solid defensively. And by the way, we've only conceded two goals in this, in, so far in, in the 10, 10 games that we have played. 
and those two goals were scored by us, so we scored against ourselves. <laughs> so yeah, that is what is really uh, pleasing me. We have a very uh, tight defence, and of course um, um, our offence is not bad. We've, we've scored quite a couple of, of, uh, of goals, so yeah, overall I'm, I'm quite happy with uh, the players that we have and what we what we want to achieve and we can only look forward to the quarterfinals with um, with a lot of confidence. Well lastly coach, um, now you have a black rhinos uh, in your yeah. part, mm -hmm. what are your chances? Uh, look, uh, football you always start uh, at the same level. What you can only do is to plan, uh, plan well and, 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 and try and get a result. Mm -hmm. Plan, play well and get a result. That's what we are going to do now. Okay. We're going to plan. Uh, in fact, we have been planning all along since we qualified for, for the quarterfinals. So what's left now is to really put up a very strong team, a good team together, which, which can take on uh, Black Rhinos. They are a good team. They've given us uh, problems in the past. But I'm confident that uh, if we put up a very strong team with the players that we have, we can really get a result. We have to get a result in, in that game. And... Um, we, are, we, we have started already to work on the psychological part of, uh, of our game, on the players, so that they understand uh, what is at stake and what they are expected to do, given also that we will have about 2,000 fans uh, coming back into the stadium. That is really going to, to push us a lot. You know that our, our supporters, our, our biggest uh, stakeholders, they always push the team. Mm -hmm. So we hope that when they come in, we can get a result for them uh, in their presence. Well, thank you very much, Coach. All thank the you. best. Thank you. Appreciate that it. was Coach Tondera Indiraya of Dynamos there, and he is excited and he's happy that uh, the new players got a chance to play, and also the young players did uh, well today. Now I am joined by a man of the match. Congratulations on being man of the match. Uh, thank you. So how do you feel about it? Yeah, it's a great feeling. Mm -hmm. It's a great feeling. Though I gave great thanks to the team, mm -hmm. we contributed a lot, we maintained the match. Okay. Yeah. Do you think you could have done better somehow? Yeah, I think, I think for today, for today, uh, what we needed, we got it. So mm -hmm. it's a great thing for us. We are not looking forward to the next thing. Well, now you guys face um, Cranbourne Bullets in the quarterfinals. Um, what do you think uh, it'll go like? Uh, for the next game, uh, for the team, I know we can do it mm -hmm. and we are going to win for the next game. You see some of the players, they were not there, but on the next game, the capacity to be full, yeah. Well, thank you very much. You're All welcome. the best. Thank you. That was our man of the match from Harare City there. And the, he is quite hopeful that they will do so much better in the upcoming games. Now, um, our analyst Momoyo will be joining us uh, right now. And he'll be giving us a brief analysis of how, how the match uh, went. Um, but if you're joining us right now, we are live in Gezi at the Baobam Stadium where Harare City was taking on a Dynamos and the match ended goalless. And also remember, we had another game um, at the National Sports Stadium, Caps United versus ZPC Kariba and Caps United 1-2-1 uh, against ZPC Kariba. So I must also say congratulations to Caps United. Now more. Um, the game is done and dusted, but what can you say about uh, you know Dynamo's introducing new players, uh, young players also? Um, I think it's good for Tonde uh, taking these youngsters from uh, Prince Edward and introducing them to the big league. Uh, you will see that in future these are going to be the big players for Dynamo's because they have been introduced at, uh, at a young age. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a, it's a very, very good plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he has focused on those attacking uh, players, Chatikobo, Bill Antonio, they are all attacking players. And uh, he made sure that his defence is what is solid. So mm -hmm. kudos to Dynamo's uh, and also the fact that they managed to do all the 10 games without a loss. Uh, you have indicated, eh? I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the, that's uh, very commendable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very, very. Mm. And the coach is quite happy about that also. Mm. But overall, what do you have to say about the game today? Um, I would say, uh, position-wise, it was all Harare City, maybe 70% Harare City. And um, I think the realisation that we we'll qualify even if we get a draw from Harare City uh, reduced 
all the attack that they were doing and also I think somehow they were getting information that uh, ZPC Kariba is losing and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you know they took uh, the leg off the pedal in the second half mm -hmm. and uh, there wasn't much uh, goal action in the second half except maybe for the first 10 minutes when um, I think the only time that the Harare City goalkeeper was tested prosper mm -hmm. uh, but besides that it was uh, Harare City position. Mm -hmm. yeah. True. Now that uh, both teams have qualified into the quarterfinals, um, Dynamos will be facing Black Rhinos and Harare City will be facing Cranbourne Bullets. What, what are their chances? Um, I think Dynamos against Black Rhinos. Uh, Dynamos should go through. Um, they've managed to rest uh, their big guns. Uh, you realize the Murwira and the captain did not play today mm -hmm. and other key players. So they were coming for the uh, semi-final, for the quarter-final fresh. So it's going to be a very, very tough match for Black Rhinos. Mm -hmm. For the Cranbourne um, Harare City game. I've watched Cranbourne play once. Um, I'm really not impressed. They, they don't have a, a, a definitive formula. Mm -hmm. They just come and play. So mm -hmm. you don't you don't know what they what to expect from Cranbourne. Mm -hmm. But if uh, Harare City um, have uh, the full complement of players, uh, the captain today is, uh, is is not here. Mm -hmm. Ben did not play. Uh, I'm sure they will be able to. Uh, to win against Cranbourne. So I'm giving it to Dynamos and um, Arara City to proceed to the semi-finals. Semi -finals. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Mo. It's been great having you. And uh, it's a wrap from us here at the Baobab Stadium. It's been Harris City versus Dynamos and the match ended goalless. And we also had another game at the National Sports Stadium where Caps United were taking on ZPC Kariba and they won uh, two goals to one. So see you next time. I'm Shamin Chasweka. Company through one of its products, the Scorepack Plan, supports Dynamo's football club, one of the biggest soccer teams in the country, and other local football clubs. With the Scorepack Plan, not only will you score for you and your family, but for your favorite local PSL soccer team as well. For each premium payment you make, your nominated soccer club will get paid from the Nyarazo Life Assurances Score Pack Plan. Make sure I get Score Pack. Get Score Pack. Support your favorite team, support your family. Your family needs you, your team needs you. Get Score Pack. Get the Score Pack Plan. Supporting your team has never been this rewarding. Get a score pack policy and support your favorite football team today. Your friend in steel, Steelnet Investments, brings you a bigger environment to shop for your steel products. A new roofing sheet manufacturing plant completes your satisfaction to your construction project. Chromadec and galvanized roofing sheets are manufactured while you wait and still cut and bent to custom size. Products in stock are diverse for use in agriculture, mining, engineering, construction sectors and for personal use. Call your friend and steel marketing team today on 242-611-802 or 3 or visit our website www.steelmate.co.zw Simbiaco Pa Steelmate Investments, your friend in steel. Nyaradzo Life Assurance Company, through one of its products, the Score Pack Plan, supports Dynamo's football club, one of the biggest soccer teams in the country and other local football clubs. With the Score Pack Plan, not only will you score for you and your family, but for your favorite local PSL soccer team as well. For each premium payment you make, your nominated soccer club will get paid from the Nyarazo Life Assurances Score Pack Plan.
make sure I get Scopic. Get Scopic. Support your favorite team, support your family. Your family needs you, your team needs you. Get Scopic. Get the Scopic plan. Supporting your team has never been this rewarding. Get a Scorpet policy and support your favorite football team today. Steelmate Investments is your friend for all your steel products and roofing sheets. From IBR galvanized and chroma deck roofing sheets, universal beams, deformed bars, angle irons, mesh wire, mild steel channels, mild and binox steel plates, pube pipes, tubes, barbed wire, and much more. We cut your sheets to specific sizes. We deliver all big orders for free in Harare and charge just diesel and toll gate for out of Harare orders. We also do cutting and bending of deformed bars on site. Site. Visit us at 346 Affirmative Way, Willowvale, or Gate Number 8 Mbare Magaba, and Number 1 Easterman's Place, also in Magaba. For Mbare, call us on 0788 930 550 up to 555, and Willowvale at 0788 930 556 up to 561. Email us on steelmate.investments at gmail.com or marketing at steelmate.co.zw. At Chicken Inn, we believe that love is timeless. We know that it is the simple moments that matter. Simple moments that become the priceless moments we cherish. We understand that what we love brings us together and that our vows and commitments bind us even closer. And so as days turn into months, months turn into years, and years turn into milestones, we remember the smiles, the laughter, and the things we loved as time and age advance and the blessing of love is passed on to yet another generation. As past, present, and future collide, all that remains are the moments shared together, the memories. All that remains is love. The original Zimbabwean taste you've loved since 1987. Chicken Inn. Nyaradzo Life Assurance Company, through one of its products, the Score Pack Plan, supports Dynamo's football club, one of the biggest soccer teams in the country and other local football clubs. With the Score Pack Plan, not only will you score, for you and your family, but for your favorite local PSL soccer team as well. For each premium payment you make, your nominated soccer club will get paid from the Nyarazo Life Assurance's score pack plan. Make sure I get Scopic. Get Scopic. Support your favorite team, support your family. Your family needs you, your team needs you. Get Scopic. Get, get the Scopic plan. Supporting your team has never been this rewarding. Get a Scopic policy and support your favorite football team today. Chibuku Super Cup 2021 was brought to you by Chibuku Super. Follow us on our social media pages at Chibuku Zimbabwe. Stay safe from COVID-19. Mask up, sanitize, buy your Chibuku and enjoy at home. Chibuku Super. Taste the goodness.